hijo de puta And today I am doing a Q&A with, well, for my Border Collie, Cedar. I just recently did a video, a Q&A, the same style video with my little Italian Greyhound Sprinkle, but Cedar got FOMO and she wanted to be the star of attention. So now I'm doing the same questions for Cedar so that no one misses out. So first question is, what's her nickname? Well, let's start off with her full name, which is Cedar Dream. That's her middle name, is Dream. I don't know why, I just looked at her one day and I was like, your middle name's going to be Dream. It doesn't mean anything, it didn't come from anything. I was like, that's just, maybe it's because the white chocolate is Dream, I don't know. But her nickname, her full name is Cedar Dream Root. I think your last name is, I don't know. And then her nickname, uh, it depends on the day and it depends what she's doing and if she's annoyed me that day. So her nickname, well her main nickname if she's not in trouble is Seed. That's your nickname, isn't it? It's Seed. Seed is her nickname, that's what I mostly call her. Um, but if she's annoying, sometimes I just call her material and we will get into where material comes from. Dumble Seed, I call her Dumble Seed because she's, I don't know, she's just a dickhead sometimes. So her name is Dumble Seed. Seed, material, dumb material, Dumble, Dumble Dickhead. That's about all. Her favorite toy or favorite thing to do, her, stop it. You, I know you have ADHD, but you just need to bear with me for one minute, a couple of minutes, okay? Uh, her favorite thing to do is 120,000% bubbles. Cedar, do you want to play with bubbles? Do you want to play with your bubbles? What? Do you, do you really want to go play with your bubbles? Let's bring this closer. Wait there. That's better, isn't it, Cedar? Yeah, her favorite thing to do, her favorite toy to play, I'd say, would be her bubbles. She loves her bubbles, but otherwise, sauce is another favorite. This is sauce. It's actually a fireman hose that she's eaten the top off, um, but I like to call it sauce. She likes sauce. To be honest, she likes all toys. Uh, what's her personality like? So I wrote down that she's kind, cause she's such a kind dog. And I feel like if thoughtful could be a word to describe a dog, like she's so, she just does things like if we're ever on a walk and she's off lead, which she does a lot of the time, she'll always like take 10 or 20 steps and then always stop and turn around to make sure we're there and it's so funny because I like to hide from her so she'll just start walking away and I'll hide and as soon as she turns around and realizes I'm not there she always comes back to find me is that really lovely are you loving on that seed is that a really nice ear scratch oh wow yeah really kind just a really kind dog like would never ever hurt a person she's just really kind um, also clever, she's so clever, so clever. And I also wrote down ADHD because she can't sit still. Unless she's asleep, she's doing something like just constantly, you can tell her brain is just constantly, constantly working all the time. It's just needing to do something just every single hour of every single day unless she's asleep. So I, I think ADHD I put down. So yeah, describe her in three words. I put clever, thoughtful, and cuddly. So cuddly, man. CD, come here, give me a cuddle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Sit. Cuddle. What's her worst habit? Cedar, do you want to tell them what your worst habit is? Because <laughs> this is a really, really, really bad habit and she's done it since the day we got her. You eat material. She eats material. She doesn't just chew material. She eats it. Do you want to go play with your ball at the park? I got perked up real quick, didn't it? This, that's in her stomach now. And I don't know what to do to stop her. If anyone has any idea, and I'm talking like it's not just Boys, it's shirts, it's towels, it's blankets, it's rugs, it's like literally anything. And chewing it up is a different story. Like if she just chewed up material, I'd be like, oh, whatever, that's annoying. But she swallows it 100% of the time. 
I don't know how we haven't had to go to hospital yet and get something stuck, like surgically removed out of your bowel. Are you embarrassed of it? Are you embarrassed that I'm telling on you? I'm exposing you. It's okay. You have to own who you are, Seed. You have to own your mistakes, all right? And that's just part of who you are. And it's really annoying. But it's who you are. Okay. D I don't think so. Come back and sit down. We'll go to the park soon. I told her that if she'd do this video with me that we'd go to the park. Do you want to go to the park? And kick the ball around in the park? Do you really want to go? See? No, 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 no. Come back here. You just got to do this video. Okay. Best trait. Cedar's best trait is for sure her snuggles. Such a cuddly dog. Like for a border collie you would never pick it but... Wow guys, she loves a cuddle. What do you call her when she's in trouble? This is her full name when she's in trouble. Stupid dickhead dumble material. <gasps> is that a stupid dumble dickhead material? Are you being a stupid dumble dickhead material? Often the answer to that question is yes. She is being a stupid dumble dickhead material. Does she bark? Um, she barks like so rarely. But like, even if she sees a dog or a person or like she sees something strange outside, she'll growl like 100% of the time before she barks. And if she does bark, she usually scares herself. <laughs> uh, does Cedar have any health issues? No, apart from being a mental case half the time. No, she's completely fine. No health issues that we found whatsoever apart from her just eating material. I think that's a brain disease. Something up here is not right, Seed, because what kind of dog continuously like, so it wasn't just a once off, like she ate half a shirt twice on two separate occasions. Once when she was like four months old and once when she was like literally 11 months old. Does she get along with Sprink? Yes, she does love Sprink, but she's also like, don't touch me. Like she clearly has no personal space when it comes to humans, but when it comes to Sprink trying to cuddle her, she's like, don't talk to me. We'll go to the park in five minutes, I promise you. What does she eat and is she a picky eater? She's just on Royal Cannon Puppy Biscuits at the moment and no, she's not a picky eater. Sometimes she does turn her nose up to food when she's, I don't know, got a sore tummy, probably from eating fucking all the material in the entire house. But she'll eat anything and everything most of the time. Is she scared of anything? Yes, she's scared of one thing. And I tried so hard to make her not scared of this and I think in turn, I probably overdid it because now she's terrified of it and it's just the leaf blower. She didn't really like the vacuum when we first got it either because it is that really loud sound, but she's a bit over the vacuum now because I vacuum like three times a week because there's so much dog hair. Because you shed like it's going out of fashion. Can you speak? Mm. Oh really, speak. CD, speak. Why are you scooting back? Come here. I think that's all the questions, to be honest. She just really wants to go to the park, guys. She didn't get to go for her walk this morning because I was, oh, massage. I like the massage of the arm. Yeah, she didn't get to go on her morning walk today, so her energy levels are like a do 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 and she's, her little ADHD brain can't really compute sitting still any longer. She needs to go to the park and get out the energy. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video of just a super quick Q&A with my Border Collie, Cedar. And before people, people are pressed. They're pressed when I say that Cedar's a Border Collie, which is what she got sold to us as. If she's not full Border Collie, who cares? Like literally doesn't matter. Like if I don't care, why do you care? She's probably mixed with part Kelpie or cattle dog or like, honestly, if I say she's bored Collie and she ends up not being purebred, then just fucking chill. Like it's all good. It's all right. People are like, ah, that is not a bored Collie. Okay. What are you gonna do about it? Like chill, who cares? Either way, she's a good, bloody good dog. Like she's stupid. You're so stupid, but so smart. At the same time, I don't understand. You would have to be the smartest dumb dog. She's putting her ears back because she really just knows that she's going to the park. Oh, do you want to go to the park? Oh. And she's not having a bar of sitting down and waiting. But you're doing good. Come on. You're doing really good. 
If you have any other questions about my dog, my Border Collie in brackets mix, because I send the Border Collie fans wild when I call you a purebred Border Collie. It's not like we're breeding her anyway. Like we got her to sex when she was six months old. I know, block out the haters, it's all right, you'll be right. Um, but yeah, apart from that, that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.